Hello, I am Firas and today I'm going to show you how to deal and design your own ceiling system. And the ceiling, uh, they are basic architectural elements uh, provided for us by Revit. And I'm going to explain the available options that you can design these uh, uh, architectural elements uh, in Revit. And it's uh, the 12 video in our unit 5 and uh, basically you need to understand that uh, you can go ahead and go to the architectural tab and you can find the ceiling here in the build panel so I'm gonna click on ceiling and when you create on your first time you go into ceiling you're gonna find that uh, frame that actually gonna you know circulate or just go to the perimeter of any room that you design uh, straightforward to identify that it's actually sense the existence of rooms here or the spaces you have in, in inside rivet and that goes because of this option in the ceiling tab here this uh, this actually appear when you get inside the ceiling command and as you can see it's the first option available for us is the automatic ceiling and the second option, and basically before I jump to the second option, it's, it's just uh, allow you to hover the mouse or place the mouse above the space. And immediately you can see it's, it's identifying where the ceiling will be. Uh, while the second option is allow you to draw or sketch your own uh, shape. That's, that's more like uh, you can use the automatic when, when the, the, the ceiling is actually, you know, uh, a unified type that you don't need to you know add more than one type in the same room while this one a more like custom shape or more advanced way of making ceiling so let's go ahead with the automatic and let's assume that I have this space and again before I click it's good idea to put you know your own uh, you have to put your, your eyes on this and you understand that is uh, mostly uh, the available for us here the plain one and uh, you know 600 by 600 or 600 by 1200 so I'm, I'm gonna pick 600 by 600 and then again back clicking here and immediately this warning message jumped and it tell you that none of the created elements are visible in the floor plan and it also goes ahead and say that you might want to check the act uh, the active view its parameter blah 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 the visibility and honestly we usually dealing with heaps amount of uh, uh, warning messages in Revit and we usually do this not just close it and ignore everything and that might cause a little bit of frustration for you because you know it looked like you didn't design or didn't create anything so highly highly recommended to you to remember that the ceiling element will not shown in the floor type system so if you minimize this guy remember that in the template that i choose there is structural plan plans there is floor plans and there is a ceiling plans so you will not see ceiling uh, or anything that is above the cut plane uh, in the floor plan so you have to go to the ceiling you know and open it and you're gonna find so if I open that you see this ground floor you create it's gonna be here in the ground floor but for the ceiling or the RCP documentation so if you hit the ground floor plan like this you're gonna see the ceiling that you actually created and in order to double check that you've done it uh, it would be a good idea uh, to double click on the section and you're gonna see that's uh, your ceiling so again don't confuse between the ceiling and the actual slab or floor that you design so that's the ceiling and it's uh, you know uh, I think it's 2600 yep millimeter that's a default value that's been added and as you can see if you go to the edit type and then you go to structure of that it's predefined ceiling and it gotta go as a structure default material and the finish five is the ceiling tile 600 by 600 as it's been identified clearly in the name so uh, you can just you know change that you know like make it uh, 2800 and hit apply and it's uh, as you know it's uh, face to face so from this point exactly as the temporary dimension is identifying to the floor finish that's the the height of the ceiling uh, again uh, careful don't go to the ground floor in the floor plan because if you if you goes 
you will never see anything in here that's a little bit confusion and I see lots of my students go ahead sealing and they keep creating lots of things in the same place and you know ending up you know even if they go to the ceiling floor they don't know what they design and why it's been happening so be careful anything you create that's actually closer to the roof of or the, the upper slab of this you have to go and see it with the ceiling plan not the ground floor anyway back to the ground floor and now the second issue you might need to consider is those you know that the, the the lines that represent the 600 by 600 and you might say I don't want this line you know I don't want that to be close to this one I want this one to start exactly from that point and this line to exact this style or this you know this unit will start from the face of that and again that's very easy you can just go to a line which is uh, just I, I just use the shortcut AL and uh, I'll just choose the, the source or the, the target which is this face and then I'll choose this guy which is the first line from those 600 by 600 and when you click Revit immediately gonna you know jump the whole unit and make it start from here and that's probably what I wanted uh, or what you want actually sorry now I'll choose this guy as a target and this guy to move to it and again that's the 600 by 600 and I'm going to consider making the rest based on the you know the start point of that one and again it depends on what you want so in this case I wanted that to be starting a clear unit from this wall and whatever you know goes in here I'm going to accumulate the number and give me with a little bit pieces like this guy anyway so that's the first type and that's that's how you have to understand how to look at the ceiling in which view and that's also the first method in creating it which is the automatic one with the first type again uh, before we jump to the other method I'm gonna just uh, you know go ahead a couple of tabs and select this guy you can just select the type easily from the property panel and let's say that's 600 by 1200 so you can see that the unit here is uh, 600 and that way it's 1200 it's just a different way of tiling and if you select that again you can change it to the plane and in a plane is just uh, you know you go to the section just big big uh, you know uh, a big continuous uh, gypsum board that doesn't have any tiling in it and as you can see here it's uh, the finishing for uh, sorry the, la the layer for its uh, gypsum uh, gypsum wall board and uh, fixed that's the gypsum board and it's fixed to the uh, to a metal stud uh, that's it so you don't want you are not actually gonna see any any uh, anything in the ceiling so don't freak out it exists but it's just big one plane uh, continuous of a gypsum board that's why you don't see anything so that doesn't mean it's not existed so probably in this case when you design this type of ceilings you need to go to the se section and make sure that it's been existed rather than keep creating it a couple of times above each other causing yourself lots of headache uh, so those are the main uh, types that you might deal with and I'm gonna delete that and go back to the you know the ground floor again and ceiling let's go ahead and instead of automatic I'm gonna use the sketch and in the sketch it's immediately gonna load up the draw panel uh, properties you can create your own uh, identification uh, planes and uh, constant trains uh, uh, etc I'm not gonna get into too much details I just want to basically introduce you to the ceiling you can go ahead and pick lines uh, so I can say I want this guy this guy and again this guy and this guy and probably you need to trim that out so you're not allowed to make the, those types of extension and like this exactly so that's the you know that's the perimeter that's the that's the rectangle and I can jo just go ahead and have a pick again and let's go and you know have an offset of let's say uh, 600 and then select that again and then trim that again as such so before I go ahead and uh, hit finish edit mode I have to check it's 600 by 600 so that's what I wanted hit finish and again I'm gonna use the align command and get this guy with this guy so I'm gonna get pure uh, tiles in here I'm gonna leave this bits and pieces here equal as this guy to start up from the middle exactly so that's what I wanted 
and again I can select that anytime and it's 2600 uh, as a height from the floor finish and remember that you have to do that in the ground floor of the ceiling plant now if you go to architecture again and you can go again ceiling I'm gonna go again sketch ceiling and then pick lines selecting those lines again the inner ones and I'm gonna go uh, plane as such and instead of 2600 let me make it like 2400 and hit apply and finish this if you don't see anything that again doesn't not mean that you didn't create it you need to go to the section consider this option also always I mean and you can see that this guy is the you know the 600 by 600 while this is you know like a little bit more dropped ceiling and uh, or the other way around you can make it a setback here that way it's a little bit higher if you prefer anyway so again that will be a gap in here and we totally do not want that so again I'm gonna go to the ground floor and easily I can overcome this issue by going to component in place and I always get this question why there is a component uh, a place component and why there is a, a model in place. Remember that uh, placing a component is where you define something in Revit family and you bring it here and it's going to be repeated uh, several times in the building like this, like any type of chair or type of furniture usually. While you know the, the component model in place are technically a very bizarre shaped uh, piece of furniture or equipment or architecture element that really really or usually not going to be repeated like this kind of you know crazy shape Autodesk is suggesting here for us that goes around this circular column which is probably not going to find in the in the market or in the furniture shop when you go and you want to you know you want to buy it so you have to you know customly made it so that what we mean in or that why or when we need the model in place and same thing what I need here I need a specific shape that I'm not gonna repeat that anywhere else that's where you need to go to make a model in place so select that and in the model 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 in place uh, or family category here a really important thing to choose the ceiling because later on you might need to categorize that uh, as a ceiling the box you're gonna create so I'm gonna go ceiling I'm gonna go okay and then name it whatever you want so you can give it the room name and the ceiling box whatever I'm gonna keep it ceiling one and here exit Trojan and again same thing I'm gonna pick the pick line from the draw panels picking those guys and with offset probably let's make it 50 mil or whatever you think suitable and the offset so if I pick here oops undo I made a mistake uh, sorry it's the depth I should go to offset a 50 and you know that's one that's two that's three and four trim the extra lines and you can identify where it's a start and its end or its depth I don't really care about that I prefer to do that manually and again extension is too thin uh, that's a scary and delete element look like yep family empty oops so maybe I shouldn't go that thin so again uh, ceiling sorry it isn't a ceiling it's component in place and again ceiling and okay then extension so I'm gonna go uh, that's the depth I'm gonna keep it the default and in the offset I'm gonna make it 50 probably I messed up here and I give it something very small so it cancel itself because it's less than the supposed or accepted thickness so I'm gonna leave that to 250 the depth which I changed it by mistake because I thought that this is the offset which is this one so keep that like a 250 which is the default value that's the mistake I've done go with the 50 here now before before you give it uh, a value first select the original lines which is this one and then go add 50 so when you select them again, you know you have this nice offset ready for you, which is a 50 mil. Trim those extra lines. Make sure that uh, you make the closed shape now finish. And again, if you don't see, don't freak out. Uh, we need the section so quick. 
see that's the box that I created I can just jump that up and you know you can do that such a thing like that or even give it a you know uh, it allows to create a clear number I think yes yeah yeah you can uh, that's whatever this number two four five seven I'll probably make this six I think apply or I'm gonna mess it up meh nope yep now it's now it's aligned itself to this face that's what I wanted I should go for that from the beginning now finish and as you can see now when you have whatever you're gonna put whatever you're gonna put the camera you're not gonna see the gap because you know that is actually closed from that side and it, it contain a full enclosed box and that's what I wanted and uh, by that we have you know like a little bit of uh, uh, an O shape uh, ceiling with an inside dropped ceiling here which is made out of a plain a plain uh, gypsum board anyway so that's that's it guys it's basically a very basic definition for how to do you know ceiling and uh, how to deal with the component in place if you want to continue those extra you know uh, box that gonna cover up the the holes around the dropped ceiling i wish that you find this uh, video useful thank you very much and i see you in the next video bye bye